This week in Bison Sports, I'm Bison's TV and on 101.5 UMFM, we're talking to someone, when this airs, you're already gonna be in Finland. Tell the vast listening audience who's watching and listening to this, your name, and because some people might not pronounce this correctly. My name is Sven Lahovi. Oh, I like that. Uh, and where are you from? Because people might know you that you played already one year with the Manitoba Bison's women's hockey team, but where are you originally from? Uh, from a city called Tampere in Finland. Oh, great. I have no idea where that is, but it's fantastic. We're talking to you because you've been here this summer kind of working out, getting ready for your second season with the, the Manitoba Bisons. But uh, it's kind of a, a unique aspect of what the team is doing. Uh, you're going back home. Yeah, I'm going back home on Thursday and then spending about two and a half weeks at home and then I'm going to wait for our women's team to arrive in Finland too. So you're, uh, so you get to go back home, see some friends and family, which is great, but you're sort of going to be the tour guide as uh, there's going to be a European tour of the Bison uh, women's hockey team playing uh, out there in Finland. Uh, I have, it's on gobisons.ca, so you're going to look at the schedule, but I have no idea about these teams. Who are these teams that we're going to be playing at the end of August? So we're going to be playing two games in Finland and two games in Sweden. All the teams are going to, well, the two first teams are going to play, they play the National Women's League in Finland, and the two teams in Sweden play the same league, but in Sweden. Now, have you played against some of the players that we're going to play against on those teams? There's going to be a lot of players that are played against and also played with, and the first team, I think, I think it's the first or second game uh, against HBK. I used to play for their team for two years before. All right, so uh, Venela Hovey, we're talking with Bison Women's Hockey. You finished your first year here at Manitoba. Uh, you're going to enter into your second year. Just now you had some time to kind of have an off season, get ready for it. How was the first year coming over here? I know when John Rempel recruited you and you talked to him, did you have any idea what would happen when you came to Manitoba? Uh, well, I kind of had an idea. I've played one year in the NCAA, so I knew that it's not going to be a huge difference. So I kind of had an idea, but at the same time, everybody, all the people were new. The hockey is different than at home, so it was definitely a lot of new things for me. What were a couple of highlights, if you, if you can remember, either on or off the ice, being here with the Manitoba Bisons? Well, for sure at the end of the season was a highlight for us as a team. I mean, we lost the finals, but considering our preseason didn't go quite the way we wanted it to go, but then we really stepped it up uh, for the playoffs. So at the end of the season was definitely one of the highlights and we had some crazy games during our playoff runs. So. She's being modest because you had a five overtime game you won at Saskatchewan. You had four goal game, first time in Bison women's hockey history. So you did pretty good for your rookie season here at Manitoba. What are you doing in the off season to kind of prepare yourself for season two here with the Bisons? Well, our uh, strength and conditioning coach, Sean Preston, he planned us a great plan for the whole summer. So basically just been working my ass off for the next season in the gym and also doing conditioning and stuff like that. Was there something that you felt that you needed to work on personally yourself to kind of get improve or get a little bit stronger for the second season here with the Bisons? Well, I've been working on my strength a lot now this summer and then also my skating. So I've been going to skating technique classes and that's been really eye-opening experience for me for sure. Give a shout out to a former <laughs> Bison athlete who you're driving like across Manitoba to get some conditioning uh, in the <laughs> skating camp. Yeah, our, uh, one of our coaches from last season, uh, Addie Miles. So she's been hosting these skating classes in Morden, so about an hour, a little bit longer drive out from Winnipeg. And so we've been going there once a week with this little group, some of our girls from the Bisons, and just been going there for an hour skate to learn some skating techniques. <laughs> Talking Bison Women's Hockey with Venela Hovey, now going in her second year at the Manitoba. So that drives a little bit less than going to Finland. How long is the flight going out there? Uh, and do you have to have six connection from Winnipeg to get to where you're going? <laughs> Not quite six, but I have three flights. So I'm um, first flying to Edmonton, then to Iceland, and then home. Iceland? Yeah. Oh, talk about that real quick. I've never been there. I, I know a lot of people talk big things about you ever been there? Uh, I actually haven't never no but I thought about maybe in a year when I go back again that I'll have a longer layover and then maybe go see some places there. Okay so this is a weird thing but 
Uh, you're going to be kind of the tour guide when, when we go out there play four games in Europe and Finland and Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a couple of itinerary things that you're going to show the girls, when you, especially when you're in Finland? Oh, I have for sure. And uh, I also have a one day planned out in my home city for the girls that they know nothing about. So the whole day is going to be a total surprise. Well, it won't be a surprise when they watch <laughs> this because we just blew it right now. But it's all good. Uh, any truth to the rumor that there might be a parade for you when you get back home? No, I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to go back to, for, you know, just to kind of regroup a bit and just see some uh, familiar faces before you get back on the ice? Oh, I'm really excited to see my family and friends, and uh, my cottage is really important for me. My uh, great-grandma bought the place, and it's like sort of a place where my friends and my family gathers every summer, so just to go some have some late-back time over there and relax and forget about hockey for two weeks, and then I feel like it's going to be huge for me starting the season and having a lot of energy and being rested too. Lastly, with Ben LaHoey of Bison Women's Hockey, uh, forward extraordinaire into her second year. Uh, do you have, uh, do you write down goals or, or do you think there's team goals that are going to be, uh, uh, you want to try and achieve this year with Manitoba? Well, I think goals are really important, not only for the team, but personally. So I've set up some goals for myself. You want to share one of... by any chance? Break it here on this week <laughs> in Bison Sports? Maybe Score not... five goals in a game? No, I don't have anything like that for myself, but I'm going to try and play consistent, have maintain a good level at every game, and then have a couple of those awesome games and not go from very good game to a total flop. So I'm going to try and maintain that uh, consistency in my game. Awesome. Well, very good. Uh, uh, safe flight back home. Enjoy your time there in the European trip, and then we'll talk to you when you get back into training camp in September. That's kind of uh, scary, right? Training camp is just around the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited. I'm really looking for the season. It's kind of nice to still have a little break here, but definitely looking forward to it. Training camp is always fun, too. <laughs> As always, uh, Bison Women's Hockey information on gobison.ca. Ben Alahovi, really appreciate your time. And you're listening to This Week in Bison Sports on Bison's TV on 101.5 UMFM.